Hello and welcome to Math for Chemistry Dimensional Analysis, aka Converting Between Units. This is John. So when we're converting between units, that usually means we have one type of unit and we want to turn it into something else. So in this case, we've got the classic example of you have two feet and you're wanting to know how many inches that is. Now we do need a conversion factor. Uh, we need some information about how big a foot is. So in this case, we've got one foot is 12 inches. I'll swap that out into some math, so I have 12 feet equals blank number of inches, and I know that 1 foot equals 12 inches. Now, I need a mathematical operation in order to actually do this. I need something here that'll do it. And what I use is what we refer to as a conversion factor. And I'm going to convert this guy from an equation uh, into a mathematical operation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create this fraction. One foot uh, divided by 12 inches, or alternatively, I could do 12 inches divided by 1 foot. And I'm actually going to have to look at the uh, question I've got on hand to figure out which one I want. So let's take my conversion factors. And uh, remember, I've got the question, 2 feet is blank number of inches. And I've got two conversion factors. So let me start setting up my equation. I have to ask which one I need. So I've got two feet. I'm going to multiply it by one of my conversion factors, and it's going to give me some number of inches. But which conversion factor do I want? General rule of thumb is I take what I want divided by what I've got. So in this case, I want inches. So I need a conversion factor that has inches on top. And what I've got is feet. So I need a conversion factor with feet on the bottom. Well, that would be this one. So. 12 inches divided by 1 foot. Now when I run the math, I have 2 feet divided by 1 foot. The feet are going to behave like variables. So every time you see a unit, you're going to treat it a lot like a variable. And in this case, if I take a variable and divide it by the same variable, they just go away. The feet cancel. And I'm left with inches. So now 2 times 12 is 24 inches. And I've got it. This is a fairly straightforward to converting in one step. You've got two different units. You simply swap them in and out. What if it gets more complicated? Here's two-step converting, and this can actually go to many, many steps. You just keep adding conversion factors as you go through. I like it into, uh, say, a chemical crossword puzzle. So in this case, I've got two feet is blank number of centimeters. And I've got two sets of... Uh, Equalities over here are conversion factors. I've got one foot is 12 inches. I've got one inch is 2.54 centimeters. Now let's get everybody into an equation to start with. So I've got two feet equals some number of centimeters. A foot equals 12 inches. And an inch equals 2.54 centimeters. Let me get this guy and that guy. And I'm going to convert them into conversion factors. Now. Each time I make this into a conversion factor, I actually get two of them. Remember how this was actually two different conversion factors to start with? I've uh, put this one in. I could have also put one foot divided by 12 inches. If you're ever doing a math problem where your conversion factor happens to be upside down from what you need, you just flip it over. That's all you have to do. You can always just flip a conversion factor over. That's entirely fine. So I've got my two conversion factors. I've got my equation I'm looking for. So what I'm going to start out is I'm going to take my two feet. Now what I want to put it is what I want divided by what I've got. The only problem is no conversion factor is actually that. So what I want to do is start working through this. And I can actually work through forwards or I can work backwards. Basically I work from the what I've got towards the equal sign, or I can work from the equal sign and what I want backwards. Sometimes I actually have to work in both directions to get to it if it's really complicated. So I'm looking over here. It's like I've got feet. I need a conversion factor that has feet in it, and I want it on the bottom. Well, conveniently, this guy has feet in it, and the feet is on the bottom. If this guy had feet in it and the feet was on the top, I would turn it upside down. So I would rewrite it the way you see it here. So I put the feet down. Okay. Now I've got feet on top, the two feet times the one foot on the bottom. The feet are going to cancel. So now I have inches. What I want is still centimeters, though, but I've got inches now. 
So I look for the next one. Those guys have canceled. My next one, I've got inches, so I use the next conversion factor. I've got 2.54 centimeters divided by inches. Lo and behold, the inches are now gone. I have centimeters. That's what I wanted. Now I can type that mess into the calculator, and I get 60.96 centimeters. The 12 inches over a foot and the 2.54 centimeters over an inch, those were both definitions, so they're exact numbers. If you remember back from sig figs, that, however, only has one significant figure, so I need to make this have one significant figure, a.k.a. round to the 60, it's closer to 60, so it turns into 60 centimeters. Basic approach, no matter what you're doing. If you need to go three, four, five different conversion factors, you just put them in a string. Just keep on going. You may have to flip them. Sometimes you'll need one conversion factor one way, a very similar conversion factor the opposite way. Now there's another way of doing this, and I call this the line method. So you start out, you got your conversion factors, you've got your equation over here, and what you're going to do is you're just going to start out your day and draw a line. This line is one really big fraction bar, is what this line is. And I'm going to start out and I'm going to write what I've got. I've got two feet. And then I'm going to put a vertical line across it. And what this vertical line is telling me is it's actually a multiplier. So I'm going to take two feet and I'm going to multiply it by whatever is on the next side of that line. And the next side of that line, I want to put something with feet on the bottom. And lo and behold, I've got 12 inches per foot. So I can put the feet on the bottom. I've got that. I now have inches. I put another line. And now I want to put something with inches on the bottom. So I put that on the bottom. And I got 2.54 centimeters on top. Yay, that's what I wanted. So those guys cancel each other out. I'm left only with the centimeters, and that equals my 60.96 centimeters, which rounds to 60 centimeters. The trick with conversion factors and this uh, whole dimensional analysis is following those units. The units are going to build your equation. Don't try and start with an equation and then fit the units in. Let the units build the equation for you. And when you're all done, if the units don't make sense, if you've got something like feet squared per centimeter, then it's wrong. If the units are insane, if they're not what you want, then you've got something flipped. And usually it's you've got one of your conversion factors upside down. You just need to turn it right side up and you'll be good. So hope that helps. Have fun. This guy is a little bit of practice to start with, but not nearly so bad once you get used to it and get in the mindset. Practice makes perfect, and have a good day.